I'm going to look at some shapes of flowers today. I'm just going to make some fairly abstract uh, flower shapes to show you how we could put a bouquet or a vase of flowers together. I've got a my favourite brush, which is a sable, um, a sable six. Um, I'm going to start off with my rose madder. I'm going to start with a just a little spiral of quite intense paint in the centre, and I'm going to dab it on some absorbent kitchen roll or blue paper. So it's a little bit lighter in colour and I'm going to take just a, the letter C backwards, crescent shape and then another one getting lighter perhaps and then I'm going to wobble it a little bit Going back to my pink and just let some colour flood in fairly near the centre. Take a little bit of yellow. While the paint's still wet. We're just going to have some fun making some different shapes. Then I think I'm going to take um, my pink and my yellow together, so it's more orange, and try one right down here, perhaps a little bit smaller. Maybe a little bit stronger. A little bit more water. I might do some um, Poppies, so let's have a little bit more pink to that orange. Let's do those as a traditional four petaled poppy. I'll take a little bit of purple while it's wet, drop that in the centre for now. Just a bit more of the pink. That's quite strong, so I'm going to take some kitchen roll and just give the petals a bit of a dab. Yep, I prefer that. And then we'll do one which is more of a, a trumpet shape. So we need something here. Have a pinky purple, a sort of a bud maybe leaning over like a tulip type bud. I'm adding a little bit more 
pink to the center. Go back to that when it's a little bit drier. Um, what else should we do? We could just do. Oh, that's not a very nice colour. Let's take a little bit of orange. Do some very small. Could make that into a, a branch of some sort. Perhaps there's the one coming down here. Let's go back to this. Take some of the paint off. And then let's put a couple of centres in there. So I think I'll put a, a bit of blue. I'm going to go back to this as it's a little bit even. I want to make the colours this even, so I'm going to. Just take the brush on one side. And then we're going to put the leaves in. So I've got this nice mixture of, of green from a previous painting. This needs a little anchor going on it there and then it'll just kind of do that and then let's take that one we need a bit of a different shade let's go here here They're very similar, so I'm going to take some blue and just let that run down the stem a bit. That's better. And maybe the same here. Now we want to put some leaves in. So I'm going to put some leaves in around the roses. They're just... Now the, the rose leaf will be a little bit jagged. I'll leave that for now. Taking the yellow and just popping that in. And then perhaps another one just going behind. just having fun 
positioning things around your sheet. That stem is very thick. Maybe little thorns. And then maybe some, I put a bit of red in. There's some few little grasses maybe. Now obviously if I was putting these in a vase all the stems would be coming down much further. Um, they're not. That was a So I think probably I will just wait for that to dry and maybe put a little, a little bow or something around there. Uh, in blue, maybe. 